So how do you know what you need to purchase or upgrade next, your camera body or your lens? This is gonna be a really quick video to give you the information you need to make that choice. The 10 tips I'm gonna give you will help you exactly pinpoint which choice will help your photography the most. To make this choice, the question you have to ask yourself is, what can't you do now or what can't you do well? I mean, if there's nothing you can't do, you really don't need to make a purchase, do you? So if you can't focus in the right spot automatically, meaning that the camera's autofocus isn't delivering focus where you want it to, where you think it should be, whatever, this is a shortcoming in the camera's autofocus system and you're going to have to look at a new camera body. So if you can't focus fast enough, meaning how fast you can turn the ring, which means how, how it's geared, or your autofocus doesn't respond quickly enough, that is a function of the, the motor, the focusing motor design in your lens. And if it's not fast enough, you're gonna to have to look at upgrading your lens. If you can't focus close enough, meaning you want to get very close to a subject and get it in focus, or even for macro photography, getting very close, Again, that's strictly a function of the lens design. It's, there's nothing you can do to change that in your camera body. It's either gotta have to be a macro photography lens or a lens that focuses closer. But in either case, it's a lens upgrade decision. If you can't shoot enough frames quickly enough that your uh, frame rate just doesn't do it like you're shooting action, sports, or whatever, also, once again, you're gonna to have to look at a new camera body. There's no way to increase the speed unless you have a camera body capable of a faster speed. If you can't change settings or modes quickly enough, and I'm not really talking about how fast the camera will change settings or modes. I mean, if you wanna go from manual to AV or, or shutter priority or whatever, and it takes you too long for whatever reason, like the control layout or whatever just doesn't suit you, it doesn't suit you. You're really gonna to have to look at a, a new camera body. Everybody has a different preference with this and you can try and get faster at it, but it's pretty difficult. If it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. If you can't get the angle of view or perspective, meaning wide or narrow, like you want a very wide landscape shot or you want a very close portrait, if you can't get that with, with your current system, that's strictly a lens issue. You're going to need a lens with a different focal length. Now this one sometimes trips people up. If you can't get an image with the background blur at a level you want, that you it's either too blurry or too sharp, this is related to the f-stop that your lens is capable of. If you want pictures with a very soft background, you need a lens that can have a very open f-stop, f1.8, 1.2, whatever, and if you can't open your lens that wide, you have to consider upgrading your lens. If you can't get good exposure readings, meaning you are intending to do one exposure mode, whether it's average or spot or whatever exposure mode you're doing, if the camera is just not giving good exposures, this is a flaw in the exposure metering system of the camera body. If you can't get images with sufficient color or range, dynamic range, contrast, even, hate to say it, megapixels, these are all functions or limitations of your camera's sensor and you will have to consider upgrading your camera body. If you can't get images without chromatic aberration, chromatic aberration is where you see green or purple fringing around edges in your images. That is strictly a function of your lens that you're gonna need a higher quality lens to get rid of those aberrations. Okay, so that's the objective points that I wanted to make, but let's talk about the intangibles. Each camera, each lens sort of has its own personality, like the way the controls are laid out on a camera, the way the zoom ring, f-stop ring, or focus ring on a lens, these things either work for you or they don't. They're intangibles that there's no objective piece of data I can give you will matter. 
You can have the best, most expensive camera system in the world, and if it doesn't work for you, you're never going to make great images with it. If you'd like to improve specific areas in your photography, like fixing blurry photos or getting some inspiration for different kinds of photography, check out the two videos I have linked here. Until the next video, cheers.